ಸೂರ್ಯೋ ನಮ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀಮಾತ್ರೇ ನಮ ಓಂ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ ವಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ವಿತ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಹಿಯರ್ ಶಿವ ಆಸ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಗುರುಸ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗುರು ಹೋ ಎನ್ಲೈಟೆಂಡ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೋ ಎನ್ಲೈಟೆಂಡ್ ದ ಸಪ್ತ ರಿಷಿ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಇನ್ಯೂಮರಬಲ್ ಸೇಜಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ಲೈಟ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶಿವ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಗುರು ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಎನ್ ಲೈಟನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಜಗನ್ಮಾತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಟು ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಇನ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿ ಪರಂಪರ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಆಲ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ the history of time in an eternal way the knowledge being passed from one to the other and this is what we see in the guru parampara stotram so narayana which is mahavishnu conveyed this to the humans who were the great rishis at that time i will speak about this guru parampara stotram at some other time but for now let us stay focused with this dakshina murti stotram initially i thought i will do this like in bhagavad gita verse by verse but there is a lot to convey and i thought it is better we just understand the essence of the verses and then i go into the details covering the important aspects for example the silence and the dynamism of shiva the subject of maya and the devotion the changing perception of multiplicity and duality into unity and the ultimate enlightenment so this might take about 3 to 4 talks but if you are patient then all of it will be covered so that you gain this profound knowledge by the grace of gurudev and dakshina murti now i will repeat the translation of the first four verses since i don't make notes the words will be different from what i spoke before but the essence will be the same now i begin i praise and salute that dakshinamurti who faces the south who teaches through his state of silence who is young in looks who is surrounded by sages who are aged and these sages whose minds are fixed on attaining brahman i salute to dakshinamurti who is the greatest of all teachers of all gurus who shows the chin mudra by his hand who is the very personification of happiness who is always in the state of extreme bliss within himself and who has a smiling countenance or face next verse this universe is like the reflection of atma in a mirror 
it is only a reflection and not the real atma the truth of this self is that it is the supreme brahman the oneness the mind senses and intellect are able to only discern this reflection of atma just like the reflection in a mirror the true brahman the self is not known the true self is apparent and known only after self realization or self illumination i offer my profound salutations to the auspicious guru who is an embodiment of dakshina murti and whose grace is responsible for the illumination of the self next i offer my salutations to sri dakshina murti who awakens the glory of the atma within us through his profound silence i offer my salutations to he in whom this universe prior to this projection was present like a tree in a seed in an unmanifest state by whose magic and will power this seed is manifested and transformed into various forms and the multiple variety to that dakshina murti who is embodied in the auspicious guru i offer my profound salutations next i offer my salutations to sri dakshina murti who awakens the glory of the atma within us through his profound silence i offer my salutations to he by whose light the unreal universe appears real he teaches this truth of brahman who want to know the true nature which is atmagnanam he teaches by giving the mahavakyas like tatvamasi thou art that and thus puts an end to this samsaric cycle to that dakshina murti who is embodied in the auspicious guru i offer my profound salutations we covered this yesterday now we continue we continue with the next nana chitra ghatodara sthita mahadeep prabha bhaswaram gnanam yasyatu chakshuradi karana dwara bahispandate janami ti tameva bhanta manubhatve tat samastvam jagat tasmai shri guru murtaye namayitam shri dakshina murtaye i offer my salutations to shri dakshina murti who awakens the glory of the atma within us through his profound silence i offer my salutations to he whose light gleams through the senses like the light emanating from a pot with a lamp through its holes i offer my salutations to he whose knowledge alone brings the state of knowing the self i am that and to he whose effulgence makes everything shine to that dakshina murti who is embodied in this auspicious guru i offer my profound salutations 
నెక్స్ట్ దేహం ప్రాణమపీంద్రియాణ్యపి చలాం బుద్ధించ శూన్యం విదు స్త్రీ బాలాంధ జడోపమస్వాహమితి భ్రాంతాపృసంవాదిన మాయాశక్తి విలాసకల్పిత మహావ్యామా వ్యామోహ సంహారిణే తస్మై శ్రీ గురుమూర్తయే నమయిదం శ్రీ దక్షిణామూర్త ఐ ఆఫర్ మై సాల్యూటేషన్స్ టు శ్రీ దక్షిణామూర్తి హూ ఎవేకెన్స్ ద గ్లోరీ ఆఫ్ ది ఆత్మ విదిన్ అస్ త్రూ హిస్ ప్రొఫౌండ్ సైలెన్స్ the unenlightened think that the body senses life breath intellect and non existence or the sunya as the real self or atma their comprehension of this eternal truth is worse than that of ignorant women children blind and dull people by his grace this maya or delusion is destroyed this ignorance is removed and to that dakshina murti who is embodied in the auspicious guru i offer my profound salutations next rahu krasta దివాకరేందు సదృశో మాయా సమాచ్ఛాదనాత్ సన్మాత్ర కరణోప సంహరణతోయో భూత్సుక్షుప్తపుమాన్ ప్రాగస్వప్సమితి ప్రబోధసమయే య ప్రత్యభిజ్ఞాయతే తస్మై శ్రీ గురుమూర్తయే నమయితం శ్రీ దక్షిణామూర్తయే my salutations to sri dakshina murti who awakens the glory of the atma within us through his profound silence the brilliance of sun exists even when intercepted by rahu during the eclipse similarly the cognition of self is not there during sleep although it is there in reality this self is unrecognized due to the veil of maya a person when enlightened becomes aware of this veiling of the self by the tamas during sleep and the deep sleep deep dream state and also becomes aware of the ignorance of the past he becomes aware that this is unreal and the real is the self alone which is eternal and non changing it is by his grace alone does one awaken to the consciousness of the self and to that dakshina murti who is embodied in the auspicious guru i offer my profound salutations next balya dishwapi jagrata dishu tatha sarva swavastha swapi వావృత్త స్వనువర్తమాన మహమిత్యంత స్ఫురతం స్ఫురంతం సదా స్వాత్మాన ప్రకటీకరోతి భజతం యో ముద్రయా భద్రయ తస్మై శ్రీ గురుమూర్త నమ ఇదం శ్రీ దక్షిణామూర్త i offer my salutations to sri dakshina murti who awakens the glory of the atma within us 
through his profound silence. I offer my salutations to he whose self is unchanging throughout the various changing states of the body like infancy, young age, old age, etc. To he whose self is unchanging through the different states of the mind like the waking, dreaming and sleeping consciousness and I offer my salutations to he who reveals the greatest knowledge of Atma and brings enlightenment by being seated with his right hand, the raised right hand in Chin Mudra. This Chin Mudra is joining of the thumb and the forefinger of the raised right hand in Dakshinamurti. To that Dakshinamurti who is embodied in the auspicious Guru, I offer my profound salutations. Next, Vishwam Pasyati Karya Karanataya Saswami Sammandataha Sishyacharyataya Tadhaiva Pitru Putra Dhyatmana Bhedataha Swapne Jagrati Vaya Esha Purusho Maya Paribhramitaha Tasmai Sri Guru Murtaye Namayitam Sri Takshina Murtaye In unenlightenment, one experiences the world in multiplicity and as differences like father son, like teacher and disciple and continues to experience these differences or duality during even the dreaming and sleep states of consciousness. But by gaining enlightenment through His grace, in unity consciousness, this perception of multiplicity changes and the unity dominates. The differences do not dominate. To that Dakshina Murti, who is embodied in the auspicious Guru, I offer my profound salutations. Next. Bhuram Bhansya Nalo Nilombara Maharnado Himam Supuman Itya Bhati Chara Charatma Kamidam Estvaiva Murtyashtakam Nanyat Kinchana Vidyate Vimrusatam Yasmat Paraswat Vibho Tasmai Sri Guru Guru Murtaye Namayidam Sri Dakshina Murtaye. I offer my salutations to Sri Dakshina Murti who awakens the glory of the Atma within us through his profound silence. I offer my salutations to He whose eightfold Prakriti causes the whole of this moving and unmoving universe to manifest and by whose grace alone does all these perceptions of manifestation as dominating disappears thereby revealing this eternal oneness as Brahman. To that Dakshina Murti who is embodied in the auspicious Guru, I offer my profound salutations. 
Now it is important to understand here that it is the perceptions that disappear. It is not the the world, people or the objects that disappear. Many seem to convey the message that the whole of the objective world disappears. But that is not true. It is the perceptions. It is the cognition which changes. I will speak about this later. But for now, just try to understand that what changes is the cognition and the perception. Next, and this is the ending verse. Sarvat matva miti sputi krutamidam yasmad mushmin stave tenasva srevanatta dartha manana dhyana cha sankirtanat sarvat matva maha vibhuti sahitam swadishvaratvam sataha Siddhye tat punarashtadha parinatam chaisvarya mavyahatam. I am offer my profound salutations to Sri Dakshinamurti, who awakens the glory of the Atma within us through his profound silence. This verse points out to the all pervasiveness of the indwelling Atma or Self and by reciting, contemplating, meditating and transcending on this Totram, the disciple attains the state of oneness in unity consciousness. He realizes this oneness of the Self within this diverse universe he realizes this unity within this diversity and thus becoming the very essence of the Eightfold Manifestation. I offer my profound salutations to Dakshinamurti who is embodied in the auspicious Guru. Today I will end here just conveying this one profound message that one gains just by looking at Dakshinamurti and listening to his Totram is that all enlightenment comes in silence, all transformation happens in silence. All rising of the consciousness happens in silence. All removal of the ignorance and illumination happens in silence. All of this removing of the Maya or removing this veil of Maya happens in silence. All of the knowledge of the Vedas and the profound wisdom happens in silence. And this is the greatest lesson Shankaracharya is imparting with this Stotram, Dakshinamurti Stotram. So today you listen to this again and again and you try to understand this important aspect of Dakshinamurti who is conveying all his grace and knowledge through silence. Tomorrow I will try to bring a little explanation of this Maya and the devotion and speak about the silence and dynamism in gaining this enlightenment. So here our interest is only to be enlightened 
So there are only two things here to be covered. One is the the state of non enlightened non enlightenment and the enlightenment. We'll deal with the the direct way Maharishi gave, and the knowledge should be direct. The method has to be direct. and the process has to be full proof now if we just listen to stotrams like this and we do not have a method a direct method and the clarity in gaining the knowledge then everything becomes futile so much of time is lost time and life is lost and the seeking continues in unknown territories again what i speak is verified by my own personal experience and my own journey with enlightenment so i will end here jai gurudev loka samasta sukhino bhavantu